Hi, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video, we will discuss basic trigonometric functions like sin x, cos x, tan x, cosec x, sec x and cot x. We will see the domain and range along with the periods of these graphs. So let's see all these graphs and we will also analyze various things related to these graphs as I will tell you the domain range and period of these graphs. So let's start the analysis. On the screen you can see the graph of sin x. On the x axis I have values in radians. Okay. So observe that it is having values 0 at n pi that is at n equals to n belongs to integer. It is having values at 0. It is having 0 value at 0, 1 pi, okay, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi and on in the same way on minus pi, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, okay, it is having value 0. So at n pi it is having value 0. If you talk about uh, the range of it then observe if I zoom it you can clearly see that this whole graph lies between values of y between minus 1 and 1. On the y axis you see the whole curve is lying between minus 1 and 1. So it is the range. So sin x lies between minus 1 and 1. And it is defined for all values, all the real values of x. Now let's talk about the period. Period means the time interval after which the period of this graph. Period means the interval after which the graph repeats itself. So if you observe that, uh, so observe here that it is repeating its value after every 2 pi. Okay, you see from 0 to 2 pi and it is repeating its value after 2 pi. After 2 pi it is having the same shape again and again. So its period is 2 pi. So this was all about the sin x curve in uh, the basics of sin x. Now we will see the graph of cos x. I will draw it on the same axis so that you can compare the graph of sin x and cos x. This is the cos x curve in white, you can see. Observe that this cos x graph shown in white is also lying completely between minus 1 and 1. Observe the y axis. So it is the range of cos x. Values of cos x lies between minus 1 and 1 in the, uh, similar to the sin x curve. Now what about its period? Now what is about its period? The period of uh, cos x is also 2 pi because after interval of 2 pi it is repeating itself. If you observe from the origin uh, you see that it is repeating itself after a period of 2 pi. From here to here. Okay, It is the period of 2 pi and uh, it repeats itself after this duration after 2 pi it is having the same shape so similar to sin x its period is also 2 pi and at some values where the value of sin x is 0 it is having maximum value that uh, you look at this 0 at origin the value of yellow curve sin x curve is 0 while it is having value 1 okay the cos x is having value 1 at pi by 2 you see where the white curve which is of cos x is having 0 value the sin x is having value 1. So you can also find the various values of sin x and cos x from this curve. We all know that uh, sin 0 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1 and sin while the 
cos pi by 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 this all uh, all these things can be analyzed from this curve that we learn in the form of table you can find them from the curve also now i will delete it uh, delete all, both of these curves and we will see the graph of uh, 10x i can also draw it uh, on the same axis let's draw it don't delete it uh, let's add the graph of uh, 10x you can see the graph of 10x it is uh, shown in uh, green color this is the graph of 10x and it is defined also as sin x divided by cos x if you divide the sin x by cos x then you will get the 10x okay and it is its values are uh, you can see It is not defined for all values of x but it is defined only for some values like r minus 2n plus 1 pi by 2 means real values it is the domain of uh, 10x that is where it is defined for uh, what values of x it is defined it is r r means real values minus 2n plus 1 plus 1 and pi by 2 so 2n plus 1 pi by 2 means if i put the value of n as uh, 0 then you observe that it becomes r minus pi by 2 so it is not defined at value pi by 2 and if if i put the value of n as 1 then here in bracket it will be 2 into 1 plus 1 means 3 so it is not defined also at 3 pi by 2 because r minus 3 pi by 2 so it is not defined at pi by 2 3 pi by 2 and also other values that we can calculate from the this equation so how it is not defined at pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 you observe that you observe that at the value of pi by 2 here is the line where is pi by 2 this is the vertical line pi by 2 here and it is not defined at pi by 2 okay and also at in the same way on 3 pi by 2 where is 3 pi by 2 this is the line 3 pi by 2 okay it is not defined at this 3 pi by 2 you can also see other values like it is also not defined at minus pi by 2 it is going along the line vertical line minus pi by 2 and similarly on minus 3 pi by 2 so various values you can find we can also calculate it as a uh, sin x divided by cos x so let me tell you uh, if I draw the graph of sin x and I divide it by cos x graph whether I will get the graph of 10 x let's see it graphically
I have removed the graph of cos x and tan x and I am going to calculate sin x divided by cos x. Cos x. So you observe that this sin x divided by cos x graph is nothing but the graph of tan x. So it has been proved that uh, the we can deduce it graphically also that it comes out to be the division of sin x and cos x comes out to be the graph of tan x. Okay. Now from this uh, tan x graph, this is nothing but the tan x graph. You can find the period the period is pi how it is period uh, how it is pi because it is repeating its values after a period of pi you see it is having values at 0 then again it's another root is at pi it is cutting the x-axis at 2 pi 3 pi uh, 4 pi 5 pi so it is repeating itself its values after a period of pi so it is periodic with period pi while in case of uh, sin x and cos x their period was 2 pi now we know the domain for what values of x it is defined its period and if we talk about its range then the value then the range of uh, 10x is from minus infinity to infinity that is the value of uh, y lies from minus infinity you see if i scroll this uh, curve then it is having values up to infinity it is never ending in the negative side for up to minus infinity to the plus infinity so it is having values from minus infinity to plus infinity which is its range so 10x lies between minus infinity and infinity or you can say the value of uh, y belongs to real values or for all real values it is it is having value so this was about the graphs of sin x cos x and tan x in the next videos we will discuss the graphs of uh, cos x sec and Cortex. Because this video is uh, getting too lengthy, uh, as uh, initially I I thought of uh, initially I thought uh, to as uh, initially I thought that I would cover the uh, all of these six functions, trigonometric functions, in this one lecture. But uh, after this, I have realized that it would be too big big video. It would be too large video to cover all these six. So I will cover rest three. Uh, trigonometric functions cos x sec and cot x in the next video hope you would have liked the video if you liked it please uh, subscribe the channel if you found my video useful then please click on the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos thank you for watching have a nice day